Hello Aries, welcome to Broadly True Tarot and this reading is from 15th of February to 21st of February. So let's check what are the messages for you and uh, what you can expect in this week in love. Messages for Aries. Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, the Chariot, Queen of Pentacles, and Three of Wands. Okay, so here we have the Chariot, Aries. Looks like someone is regretting what they said. Someone is feeling that they need to make something correct immediately. Because we see this four of swords here. So whoever this person is, they're now feeling like nobody cares about them. Especially you. This is someone who feels that Aries, they cannot um, expect you to surrender always or to surrender to something that is not justified. This could be someone who is hoping that you will chase them. You will do something to get their attention. And you will try to convince them that they should be in this relationship with you. But now this person feels that this is not going to happen. And Aries, this person is actually quite surprised. This person is now realizing that they are actually alone here. Also, we have a lot of fishes around this person. So this could be about people who are around them. When you look at them, you may have this feeling that this person is fine. They are doing all right, you know. They have got a lot of people around them. After all, what would bother them? But the thing is, this person is feeling alone, no matter how much company they are getting. Also, this could be about they listening to others. This person might have acted upon someone else's advice and now they have ruined their own relationship. This person is now realizing that it was the worst idea. In fact, this is someone who is now so desperate that they are watching you. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. You see this person is watching, excuse me, this girl and, um, you know, this guy is trying to figure out where she is going, what she is um, thinking and what her plans are. So similar could be the situation. I'm not talking about some kind of literal stalking um, like this. But this person might be stalking you on social media. They might be trying to figure out, Aries, what you are thinking, what you are doing in your life. Because they don't understand what is happening. Why you are not approaching them. Why you are not desperate. Why you are not um, doing anything to make things correct. So I see a lot of things here. Also, we have this Queen of Pentacles. So with this Queen of Pentacles, Aries. Whoever this person is, they think that you are being quite self-centered, you are being quite practical, all you care about is you, you don't care about the world, and um, this person kind of hate this image, okay, because that makes them powerless. This person knows that if you lose your feelings for them, they won't be able to... Um, control you or they won't be able to manipulate you in some way so this person is afraid that this queen of pentacles is uh, smart now she knows what she deserves she knows what she wants and um, she feels like she has the power it's like aries you know that you can do whatever you want being in a relationship doesn't mean that you are going to lose your space or you are going to act according to the other person this is simply about knowing who you are and following your heart. So this person is looking at you and they feel like you are kind of reclaiming your power and they cannot do anything about it. We also have this three of wands here. So with this three of wands, this person is looking at you and uh, they are also kind of feeling that distance is increasing. You both are not that close anymore. Things are getting out of hand. You are simply done you don't want to be in this relationship also three of wands could be about some kind of struggle that they might be doing in their life so this person feels that what was so close to them what was um, meant for them is now 
uh, walking away, this person is now aware that maybe they are going to lose you forever. So this person is kind of stuck. With this chariot, this person is ready to move. They want to take some kind of action, but then they are stuck. They don't know what to do. Because approaching you would mean that they will have to accept their mistake. They will have to um, accept that they still want a reconciliation. They want this relationship to work. And uh, that is something they don't want to do. They feel like this is going to reveal a lot about them. Like who they are. And you may also feel like they are desperate or they are vulnerable without you. So this is someone who is trying so hard to wear the mask. But... Again, they don't know how to react to the situation, Aries. And um, that is why this person may stay at their place for now. But they're watching you because they are desperate to know what's happening next. Okay. Of course, this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for you, Aries. Knight of Wands, Five of Cups, Five of Wands, Ten of Cups, and Two of Swords. Okay. So, Knight of Wands. This was someone who was not respecting the boundaries. It's like, okay, Aries, okay, Aries, I won't do it again. I want to repeat the same mistake. But then again, they were crossing the boundaries. They were doing something recklessly. And uh, this could be about flirting around because this is Knight of Wands. So this person may have made you feel like an option or they might have made you feel like you're not that important or they simply couldn't reciprocate your love. Whatever the situation was, this person is now finding themselves in a similar situation. I mean, they are seeing themselves as you now because they are afraid that now you are on this Knight of Wands mode, like uh, you are looking for others or they are not your priority anymore. You have made them an option or something. So this person doesn't like this. Also with this Five of Cups, this person is realizing that they're unable to stay away from you. As if some of your parts are their parts. It's like you people share something. Okay, it's about sharing a connection. We have this angel with wings and then we have this bird with a body of humans. So it's about merging into each other. It's about making each other a part of yourself. So this person is now feeling that this connection has become something like that. Also, we have this five of wands. With this five of wands, this is about some kind of victory. This person feels that you have won over something and most probably it's your feelings for them. This person is afraid that you are now over those feelings and you are enjoying those ten of cups. You are enjoying your time. You are actually interested in a lot of things. And uh, you are doing a lot of things right now. It's not like they are your priority anymore. We also have this Two of Swords here. So with this Two of Swords, a resist person is now finding themselves in the middle of nowhere. Okay, you have made them realize how it's like to be in the middle of nowhere when you so desperately need some help. Okay, so this person is now getting their lesson and uh, they also feel that things are getting out of their hand. Let's check an oracle message for you, Aries. Seduction. Here are the roaring flames with the masterful trance that calls upon heaving chest. Given to its alluring grip, if you please, but heed my warning of the claws that draw blood without mercy. So, Aries, this person could be back. They might try to approach you. And um, there could be a lot of seduction. This person may have beautiful things to say and interesting things to offer. But at the same time, you will have to be very careful with what you choose. 
because you will have this freedom of choosing but um, then you will have to be ready for whatever comes because this person may not be working on themselves okay and they may not give you a real promise so this was the reading for this week i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching till next video bye